What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Wolf the Fashion. Mr. Studio Man, Mr. Holy Shh. Did I see my tag line in there? That's okay. But, in today's video, you guys, we are going to be talking about the death of Kitty Monroe, a transformer. Let's get into this video. Okay, y'all. Uh, before we get into this video, if you are new, please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And comment down below the praying emoji for our fellow sister. Okay, y'all, uh, one more thing. Also, I am speech impaired, because that comes from my disability. So please bear with me as I read this report that just came out a few hours ago. Okay. Kitty Monroe was a friend from in Tennessee who was recently murdered. Now, here's the report. Let's talk about it. It says, A black friend woman was shot to death during a domestic dispute at her home in Cordova, Tennessee on Wednesday, June 29, 2022, making her at least a 19th trans, non-binary, or gender non-conforming person reported to die as a victim of fatal violence this year. She is the third black trans woman to die from gun violence in the past two weeks. Y'all, this is crazy. Like, I really don't know why these men are killing these women. I don't know if they don't want it to get leaked out that they're doing things for trans women. But you knew what you signed up for. You knew. At this stage in the game, you know who you're messing with. You know who you're messing with. It's just ridiculous to me, y'all. Here we go. According to criminal affidavits obtained by ABC 24, police arrested Samuel Ward Jr. for the murder of Monroe after police received a call from Ward just before 12.30 a.m. Wednesday. Ward admitted to shooting Monroe after he said they got into a fight over him not wanting to leave her home. Police said they went to the home in the 1600 block of Cake Oaken Bucket Drive just before 1 a.m. and found the victim shot. She died at the scene. So it's saying that he did not want to leave her home. Like, I wonder what she's trying to put him out. Like, was she tired of his shit? Was this his girlfriend? Who knows? Like, let's read some more, y'all. But it's crazy. It says, it also states that the report said a witness told police they received a text from the victim saying a man was at her apartment and wouldn't leave. The affidavit said Ward told investigators he and the victim had been fighting in her bathroom. I mean, her bedroom, excuse me. Her bedroom about him leaving. Ward told police that Monroe pulled a gun and ordered him to leave. So he would say that she pulled the gun. That's what a lot of these crazy murderers say. They say that somebody else pulled the gun on them, so they had to retaliate and shoot them. Boy, please, I don't buy that whatsoever. According to the report cited by ABC 24, Ward said he walked to the top of the stairs and then grabbed for the gun. They both struggled and then both fell down the stairs. When they landed, Ward told police he pulled out his own gun and shot the victim six to seven times. The affidavit said Ward took off and called the police from another location. So you shot her six, seven times, but you called the police and that she was trying to shoot you. But that means that you were trying to shoot her self-defense. So after the first shot, that wasn't good enough? It sounds more like you tried to murder her. That's what it sounds like. I'm sorry, y'all. Stuff like this pissed me off. 
Police have since charged Ward Jr. Smith. I mean, sorry, y'all. Ward Jr. with murder. Kenny Monroe, friends and family. You know, they didn't want justice for her, which I do believe that she deserves justice. I am getting sick and tired of these down low, whatever you want to call them type of men who get with these trans women because these trans women are giving, serving girl completely like cisgender women and you want to kill them after you hook up with them. Why? Because you don't want your information leaked up? Listen, you know what you're getting yourself into. You know, so you can't say, oh, it was some trickery shit. You, you know what you got yourself into. You knew she was trans. I'm sure she told you. She is a well-known trans woman. That part. She's known to be trans. So there's no way that he could say that he didn't know. On top of that, like, like what, like what was your reason? What was it? Help me understand. And I'm sure that a lot of people is like, this is crazy. Like, trans women should be able to live a regular life just like anybody else. And that makes me uncomfortable being a gay man. That makes me very uncomfortable. Because I have trans friends, female and male. I would go crazy if I didn't have more of my friends. Y'all listen, trans women, trans men, be careful, and I love you. God bless. And subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.